So this weekend is my birthday and we have planned a super fun extravaganza of great food and wine. Tons of fun things with Brett and his parents and we're meeting my parents in Paso as well. Because we had to drive through Los Alamos, of course we stopped at Breakfast Barbecue for the second time. Unfortunately, we have to eat it in the car, but you know, when it's that good, you gotta get it when you get the chance. Brett, what did you think of the wine here at Villa Creek? It's wonderful. Did you have a favorite? Grenache. Mom? I think I like the Piano the best. Okay. Yeah. And, the, and the glasses. And the glasses. The high road. The high road. Oh, He's got expensive clothes. <laughs> Badger had some great and unique wines like Valdigui and Negret, and we were allowed to bring in outside food so we made our own cheese board. After we finished the delicious tasting, we explored the grounds around the winery. share these initials so couldn't miss this photo op. After checking into our hotel, we headed to the adorable downtown Paso Robles for dinner. I absolutely love the entire aesthetic and vibe of this place. They had amazing cocktails and super delicious food. our incredible dinner, we went over to Tin City where we visited the brewery Barrel House. This place was hoppin'. There was great places to hang out, good music, and a really fun overall vibe. So it is day two of birthday extravaganza. We just had a nice little breakfast at Amsterdam in downtown Paso. We got a brunch wrap, which was pretty excellent. And now we're going to buy some beer at Firestone. And then we have two wine tastings lined up and are heading to the hot springs after that. was an excellent server. We had a great experience. We got to try seven different wines, which was quite a few, and the cheese pairing was super fun. So we are heading to our last tasting here in Paso before we go to Avila Beach. We're visiting Le Cuvier, which does kind of a fancy food pairing with their wine. So we've never been here before. It's a totally new experience for us, and we're really excited about the food part and, of course, the wine. We just got to Le Cuvier, and the views are epic. We just left Le Cuvier. Their wines were pretty different. They had a Cab and Syrah, Malbec, a aged and skin fermented Chardonnay which is pretty rare. Everything was good. And my dad ended up joining, so we got a big discount on all of our food pairings and we'll probably be visiting again fairly soon. Definitely worth a visit if you're in the area. We're heading to Liquid Gravity in San Luis Obispo for some beer because this guy has drank far more wine than he'd prefer. And uh, you know, we gotta get some beer in there too. Liquid Gravity was another great place to hang out with some nice beverages and it made this guy pretty happy to have some beer. We just checked into Sycamore Springs Hot Springs Resort and our room is super cool. We are in a two bedroom suite and I'm going to show you the place. Springs is super cool. 
We didn't have much time to explore, but we are heading to dinner at Ember in Arroyo Grande, and then we are pretty much just hanging out at the resort tomorrow. Ember is a farm-to-table restaurant that uses wood fire to cook the majority of its food. It does everything from pizza to fancy things like filet mignon. They make delicious beverages and great food. Sorry for the poor quality photos. I was enjoying myself and it was a little dark in there. The morning of my birthday, Brett and I drove into Avila Beach and grabbed some coffee at an adorable coffee shop, Kraken. After, we returned to the resort to meet back up with the parents and we took the Bob Jones Trail from the resort back to downtown Avila Beach. The gorgeous two mile walk dropped us off right in downtown where we explored and then had a casual lunch at Comet House. From there, we made our way over to the tasting room, Sinor La Valley. They had delicious and reasonably priced wine from a vineyard just 1.2 miles from the beach. We visited the Avila Valley Barn before heading back to the resort for the rest of the day. The shop was full of fresh fruits and vegetables and lots of fun food and beverage items, and we enjoyed visiting the farm animals on the surrounding grounds. Ah. Can you give me one of those big moves? Ah. After taking a bit of a break, we headed down to the resort's secret garden. This is a, well, garden and picnic area that has some fun games and a cool little trailer that sells food and beverages. We made our own cheese board and then Brett kicked my butt at Jenga. We've had a super fun day today and we just finished up having drinks and charcuterie at the Secret Garden, and we are headed to the Waterfall Oasis Lagoon, which is their big hot tub for groups. So we're excited to spend an hour there and see what that's like. departure day, my dad and I got up early to hike the Sycamore Crest Trail directly behind the resort. While it's a short hike, it's quite steep, but the views are beautiful. And we were surprised to come across a swing on the top of the hill. Talk about a cool place to get on a swing for the first time in 15 years. After having a pretty delicious breakfast at the resort's restaurant, we said our goodbyes and hit the road. So that's a wrap on the most epic Paso Robles in Avila Beach wine and libation birthday extravaganza. I had an absolute blast and I'm so thankful to Brett and my parents and Ron and Stacy for being up to doing all of that in just a couple of days. If you enjoyed watching this video and learning about some of the awesome places that you can visit right here on the West Coast, you should hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. I included some fun and silly extra footage at the end of this video. You should check that out and I'll see you next time. Terrence, our server, was excellent and really... Mm, yum, yum, what do I want to say? Yum, yum. <laughs> So we didn't want to take two trips from downtown Avila to the back to the resort. So One I'm mile. I'm apparently laying across everybody's lap <laughs> in the back of this car. It's very safe. Um, yep. Yep. This is what's going on right now. Are you pulling hairs out of my leg? Yeah. It's okay. Thank you. She'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, I actually I started a video. The wine. Right, Brett? Yeah, I get to wear this.
and I bought Brett some new clothes. Doesn't he look like a stud? 